Monte Carlo simulation using cadence, I am just going to vary the oxide thickness of the transistors in order to um, show variation in the threshold voltage. Um, so, um, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my schematic of the uh, design that I want to vary. Uh, if you notice, I have several oscillators on here. Uh, we're just going to be varying this one, and I'll show you later how to select specifically the one that you want to vary. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. So go launch ADEXL is what you want to select. And now I have an existing view, but let's create this from scratch. Um, so create new view and make sure all these are correct. So I'm working in project one, I'm working with oscillator small and the view is ADEXL, which is good. Now if you select this, it doesn't allow you to change open width, so it doesn't matter if you select that. Let's open it up in a new window. And I'm going to override it because mine's currently existing. So when you get the brand new screen, you'll notice that there are no tests in this corner. Uh, this, is, this has some pretty useful information. You can always get back to the screen by pressing the home button here whenever you're looking at um, other simulations. Under here, you have your different um, types of simulations you can run. Uh, so we'll be doing a Monte Carlo sampling. Uh, but before we go into details, we need to create a test here. So there's three places that you can create a test. You can click here to add a test. You can click on this yellow guy to create a test, or you can go create test. And uh, project one, oscillator small, view schematic, and we'll do edit. So very first thing we need to do, uh, this is similar to uh, setting up a uh, analog or a mixed signal analysis in the ADE window. So the very first thing we need to do is go to your model library and we're going to add our model file. Now uh, I don't have the exact extension but I just need to, this is the unmodified uh, model file. I added a statistical block in this directory um, and press OK. So now uh, we need to add our variables VDD. Now let's give a value of 1, press OK, and let's see, nothing else under that. Let's choose our analysis. So for DC, we're going to save our operating points, press apply, make sure that it shows up down here. Transient, we're going to do 20 nanosecond conservative and press OK. And we need to have conversion aids set initial condition right here. We're setting it initially to zero. Since we're only running this one oscillator, we don't need to worry about the other guys, so press OK. Uh, I'm going to save state, because that's just generally good. And now let's go to outputs to be plotted. Well, before that, let's make sure that, before we go to the outputs to be plotted, uh, let's go to setting up the Monte Carlo simulation. Um, so you have a choice between process and mismatch. Uh, process is dealing with uh, mismatch between dyes, and mismatch is the mismatch is the um, mismatch on a single die. Uh, in this simulation, I am assuming a one percent mismatch on a single die and I'm assuming 10% mismatch between dies. Um, so I'm going to do Latin hypercubes. Now I'm not 100% sure the number of bins seems to be similar to um, orthogonal sampling method which is Latin hypercubes but uh, where it subdivides the space. So I'm just going to put 10 bins here. Uh, I'm just going to save my data. Now run no um, nominal simulation basically does a, a pre-run through your uh, your setup and if it fails it'll fail during that and won't continue 
so it's good to do this on your first run and then after that you don't have to select this guy but if you notice down here it says uh, specific instance slash device instances slash device is not specified now uh, on my schematic over here if we look at my schematic I have a bunch of different devices uh, the one that I'm only interested in is this guy right up here but if you notice I also have these guys are of the same type so let's look at what he's called so this is logic wrapper 1 and instance 57 to 59 so choose sub circuit and go to logic wrapper 1 and we need 59 through 57. Press apply. You should see them showing up here. Press OK. And let's save this. So before we do has show any outputs, let's make sure that our uh, we have our Monte Carlo set up right. So we're gonna do let's just let's just change this to one really quick and we'll put this to zero just to make sure everything is set up okay so we're gonna do a quick oops apparently that's not okay so let's do 10 okay now I need to really edit this okay so 100 oh, this is gonna take a little bit oh Mm -hmm. One bin, okay. So this shouldn't take too long to run. It'll take a sec before it shows up if there's any errors. Okay, so this is good, it's running. So, uh, we're finished. So if you go to um, plot histogram, we can plot our change in our oxide thickness just to kind of see how the distribution is. Um, unfortunately, it's not showing up. So we'll, we'll leave that and hopefully it'll pop up by the time I do my next graphic um, plot. For the, doesn't always work very well. Um, so okay, so while we're letting it take care of itself over there, what we'll do now is we'll change the Monte Carlo to 100, uh, 10 bins, press OK. But now what we're going to do is go ahead and save. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some outputs. So. Um, Outputs to be plotted, select on schematic. So we want to plot this guy. Make sure that it changes color. And he shows up here. I'm going to save the points. Now, if we go, ah, see it showed up finally. Okay, next thing what we want to do is uh, we, we just don't want to plot the output alone. We want to add how the threshold voltage is changing. So one way to do this is to so right click, say edit, which we were just there. Go to add. Oops. Uh, huh. New expression. So, okay, new expression, and we're going to call this uh, VTH P zero. Uh, now to get the expression, we need to go to the calculator, go to open, and select uh, doo -doo -doo. select OP right here. Now it'll say select from in instance. Now if you notice, there's nothing listed under here yet. So what we need to do is we need to um, dive 
down into our circuit model here, or our schematic, I mean. And actually, I'm going to select one of the PMOS to show the uh, threshold voltage is changing with the uh, CAOX thickness. So, I double clicked on this PMOS over here, and now we have a list of all the operating points. I'm going to go down to VTH. Where are you? Oh, it's up here. There we go. Now, if you notice right here, we got our instances. Basically, this is our um, logic wrapper one, our NAND gate, and then the individual PMOS. So we don't need this anymore. And we just say get expression. It plops it into here. Say add. Press OK. We can close our calculator now. And you notice we have our other output. So let's save this state as a as a good precaution. And let's run it again. Now this is going to take a little bit more time because it is a hundred samples. Uh, and what I'm going to demonstrate, uh, well, I'm going to cut this part of the video and jump to the end once it's done, but I just wanted to show you that the, uh, the Monte Carlo simulation is actually working. So I had to leave it recording and then I'll cut it. Ah, as you can see, it's trying to count up.